We are uh, uh, now launching our first R&D center in Singapore, and that was part of the main announcement for today, a press conference. We have also um, on our pass the first event, which will take place on June the 6th, and which is called uh, Start We Up. And that will be an event where we will uh, start to discuss with startups, select startups, and uh, build a POC, what we call a POC, it's a proof of concept a project. And we finance this proof of concept project the aim is, of course, to, um, to prove that this uh, project or this technology is applicable to the naval industry and can be, uh, in some days, sooner or, sooner or later, um, implemented in uh, ships. So, uh, the first step is, of course, to review some of this technology, which could be uh, coming from the automotive or medical industry, and to make it work in the naval uh, environment. and then. If it works and if it's viable, we'll probably go to the next step, which is develop the specific dedicated application for our own uh, naval um, ships. So it will be one, two or three steps development, we'll see. And the, the uh, objective is, of course, to uh, maybe go abroad, Singapore, and uh, implement this application in, why not, other navies. Uh, uh, ships. We believe uh, in Nava Group that uh, open innovation and working with uh, SMEs and startups is a need to move forward to uh, accelerate our innovation and also to, uh, to get um, technology from other sectors and cross-fertilize uh, applications. So that's the first step. That's important. And why Singapore is just because it's a very... as Everybody knows it's a smart nation, uh, working a lot on computing and uh, uh, artificial intelligence, and that's a need. We need to develop algorithm dedicated uh, to our data today to make sure that uh, tomorrow's application for uh, and to help um, the, the different navies to collaborate, to work, to make better decision, quicker decision with all the data uh, and and with proper um, systems uh, which help them to be more efficient at sea and uh, so that's part of this solution can come from Singapore and uh, the wonderful uh, ecosystem uh, here. That's why we want to partner with some of the startups and universities here and that's the starting point for us. Benara frigate is a brand new frigate uh, sold to the French Navy on the new program, FDI. And uh, the main innovation is the first digital surface combatant. That means that we built a, a new uh, digital architecture on board, gathering all the computing uh, power in two data centers, one forward, one aft for redundancy. And in these two data centers, we concentrate all the computers of the ship. We virtualized all the systems, combat management system, platform management system, navigation system. And we separate the uh, systems as application from the hardware to manage the very fast evolution of all uh, information technology. Right now, the, the final cut of the uh, uh, critical design review will be signed in the uh, in the in the days in the coming days, and the first steel coming uh, the first steel cutting will occur before the end of the year. The delivery of the first frigate will be 2023 after all the sea trials, and the program uh, is for five frigates. The last one will be delivered in 2029. I'm pretty sure that this frigate will fulfill all the requirements of the French Navy. It's a real a uh, multi-mission frigate capable of doing all any kind of mission uh, for the Navy facing the new threats uh, like cyber, uh, cyber threats, the new very fast uh, missiles for example because uh, thanks to the new radar uh, for fixed panel, the uh, last, latest evolution of the uh, Aster uh, missile and uh, all the submarine uh, threats uh, thanks to a uh, brand new also uh, sonar suite from Thales.